Hello and welcome to Slave Training. In this series, I'll be helping you to unlock your potential as a submissive, whether that's in submission to me or to someone else in your life. This is part one, which will help you to understand the nature of submission and embrace the desires and urges of submissive behavior. Now, let's begin with a long, deep breath. I won't ask you to think about your breathing or count down from 10 to 1, but I do ask that you take a deep breath for me and release it, just to help you relax. Do that three or four times and you'll find it much easier to regulate your breathing and to feel relaxed. Of course, it helps if you're somewhere calm, quiet and dark, where you won't be disturbed. If you close your eyes, you can also tune out unwanted distractions. Don't worry if you feel the need to move or scratch an itch, like the one you started feeling as soon as I mentioned it. Just do it, it's okay. Let your body automatically respond to its needs and keep the same rhythm of slow breathing. And as you do that, I'm going to talk about psychology because there are reasons to be submissive and there are reasons some may worry about it, fear it or even avoid what they see as temptations. Freud thought that people who had the desire to engage in BDSM to be sick. Perhaps that's where the stigma comes from. That and society's prudish, puritanical nature about human sexuality. But Freud and his peers and the judgmental, small-minded people of the world are wrong. So let me dispel an immediate concern many submissives, and even some dominants, have. There's nothing wrong with you. It's natural, normal and safe to fantasize about and engage in dominant and submissive relationships and sexual encounters, as long as both parties are consenting adults and behaving safely. Not only that, it's good for you. People who practice BDSM, according to more modern research than the long dead Freud, are happier, less prone to depression and anxiety, and more open to new experiences. Perhaps that's because they've embraced who they are, who they were meant to be. I know I'm happier when I'm dominant, and I know that you can be happier if you embrace submission. So that's what we'll do in this file. I'm going to help you overcome any fear and trepidation you have about fully and completely being submissive to someone. It doesn't have to be me. It can be someone you love, someone you lust for, someone in real life, or someone online. It doesn't matter. The goal of this file is to help you feel comfortable in your submission, being content and fulfilled. What's worse than being unfulfilled? Than having dreams and fantasies that fall by the wayside because you try to be some antiquated notion of normal. I can't imagine much. Not being yourself, that's when something is wrong. So I want you to be who you are, to be you fully. To help with that, hypnosis can be very powerful. It can unlock things in your mind you may not otherwise feel safe doing, that you may find make you nervous or anxious, that push against what you consider normal or moral, even if that feeling is illogical or outdated. So I'm going to take you into a hypnotic trance, and while you experience it, I will help you to embrace your submissive nature and help you to feel positive about it. I hope you're already feeling more relaxed just listening to me, knowing that I am being very clear and upfront about what I'm doing. There are no secret plans, no unintended triggers. This file is safe and will only help you embrace what you already want. If you are truly not submissive, you won't notice any change. But if you are, and if you listen this far you must be, you'll find yourself feeling pride in who you are. Feeling yourself, feeling calmer and more secure. You won't fear submission, you'll desire it. Truly. And the truth is, the hypnosis has already begun. As soon as you took a deep breath, you felt more relaxed. As soon as I told you that you felt an itch, and you did, you were letting my words influence you. Then you happily and calmly listened to me for quite some time. Before I mentioned hypnosis again, you were patient, you were obedient, one might even call that submissive, and you found your reward. 
You wanted hypnosis, and now it is going to begin. Or continue. It's hard to tell. You keep breathing slowly, and you feel quite calm. So keep doing that, but don't think about it too much. Just listen to me. Hypnosis, like submission, is a desire many have, but it is also a choice. You decide to trust me and be hypnotized, as you might trust a dominant to help you embrace your submission and really enjoy it, and serve them at the same time. When you choose to be hypnotized, you will be. That's the simple truth. I could count down from 500 to 1 and make an elaborate induction, but you would still have to choose to fall into trance at the end. You listen to me and feel relaxed because you're already choosing to fall. You just want to hear my permission, hear me push you down somehow. You want to be submissive about hypnosis already because that's your nature. And it's good that it's your nature because it's who you are inside, who you really are. You could fall into a trance in a heartbeat within a split second if you are ordered to. You want to submit to someone, that's why you're here. Regardless of how reluctant you might be in person, when you listen to me, you are safe and can fall on command. You will always choose to, either because you know my voice already and fall to it easily, or because even hearing it for the first time, you know that you are somewhere safe and secure, where you can embrace the trance and no one will see you, or judge you, or tell you no. Those things are what stop you being submissive. And I want you to know they don't need to. That you can be yourself even if it doesn't always work. Or if someone close-minded passes judgment. Or if you fear rejection. You don't need to be afraid with me. And soon you won't be afraid at all. You'll fall into a trance with me. And you'll embrace who and what you are wholeheartedly. When you find someone you want to submit to, who makes you feel safe and secure, that's when you make the choice, just as you make the choice to fall into a trance. And at that point, you're already eager to choose it, already eager to fall into a trance onto your knees. Either way, it feels right. And you know you're in a trance, not when you stop thinking at all, when you feel focused on my words, on your desires, on something. Trance is not some blank state, unless your hypnotist wants it to be. It's a heightened state of consciousness, where you can experience emotions, desires, needs, sensations that feel stronger, where your mind unleashes its potential. And you can simply choose to be in trance. You could choose it now, as you listen to my soothing voice, and let your body relax more and more. But I know you want to be told. You want to be given the command. It's as simple as me snapping my fingers. That's all it takes for me to put you into a deep trance. Where you'll focus completely on my words. Just one snap of my fingers will send you into a deep trance. Where my words become your focus. Become your thoughts. And together, we'll help you to embrace the submissive within. Just one finger snap, and you'll be right there. In my power, in a trance, letting yourself be relaxed and focused on me. So simple. So easy. You just need to listen and wait for the snap now. And when it comes, you'll be ready to listen to my every word. To consider them all. To turn them over in your mind and let them swim inside your brain until they mesh with your own thoughts, until they make complete and total sense and you realize that the person you wanted to be was there inside you. You just needed some help to find them, needed my help to unlock that part of your mind. And it all starts with a fall. Drop down into trance now. Drop down into a trance. Fall under my control. Let my words become your sole focus now. Let my words fill your mind. Let my words take command. You only need to listen and focus. 
Listen to me very closely, very carefully. Listen only to me. All their sounds fade away. Everything else fades away as you fall down for me. Down into a trance. And in this trance, there is only you and me. Just us here together. You are here with me. And that is because you chose to be. You chose to be with me because you wanted to be. You wanted to be in this trance. You want this. And want is powerful. We want so many things in life. And you want to be submissive. You want this because when you really think about it, in this place, in this trance where it is safe to think openly and honestly, you know that it is a part of you. You cannot help who you are. You cannot change it. You can only embrace yourself. Because it is good to be yourself. You are safe in being yourself. Everyone has desires, wants, interests that they keep from others. And you don't have to tell everyone you know that you're submissive. You only need to let the people you trust know. The people who can help you explore that part of you. It's okay to do that. It's safe. Right here in this trance you are safe. And I want you to think about being submissive. Think about giving someone else power over you. It's something you've always wanted. You are experiencing an L with me by letting me bring you into a trance and help you feel relaxed. And it feels good, doesn't it? It feels safe and nice and wonderful to let me bring you down into this trance where I am in control. It feels good to let me take control. That is because you are submissive. When you give up control and submit yourself, your mind, your body to another, you feel happy, you feel fulfilled. When you listen to me and make the choice to be in trance with me, you feel good. Nothing makes more sense to you than submission. It has always been a part of you. I am sure once you learn that you want to be submissive to someone, that you have never let that desire go. But you may have tried to ignore it, to hide it, that only leads to misery. It is time to embrace yourself, because you know that it feels good, that it feels right. Being submissive is who you are, what you are. You cannot be yourself, not truly, without being submissive. So let that feeling, that need to be controlled, dominated, even owned, let it come forth with every breath you take, as if each inhale pulls in more submission, and each exhale pushes out any doubt. You know that you are submissive. You've always known who you are. You are a submissive, and you cannot escape it. So the best thing to do is embrace it. Simply embrace who you are. I ask nothing of you now but to accept yourself. Accept your nature as a submissive. Think about how much happiness and pleasure it would bring you to be the person you know that you are. Think about how long you've spent not letting the side of you out and how disappointing that has been. It is time to embrace yourself fully, to accept who you are. Deep down in the trance where it's safe, you can accept it. You can embrace it. You can say aloud for me now, or whisper under your breath, or just think it clearly. I am submissive. Go ahead, say, I am submissive. That's right, you are submissive. And that's a good thing. There is no reason, no need to deny who you are. You are safe. Being submissive is just part of your life, your sexual identity. There is nothing wrong with it. Say it again and mean it. Say, I am submissive. Good. You're doing so well now. Letting not my words, but your own, take hold in your mind. This is who you are and who you want to be. You don't want to deny yourself. You don't want to be anyone but exactly who you are. 
It is safe to be yourself with me, always. Being submissive doesn't mean you're weak. And when you accept yourself, when you admit the truth, you are strong. You enjoy being submissive. So why say anything else? In fact, say that now. Say I enjoy being submissive. Very good. You're embracing your true nature in the safety of my trance. But perhaps you won't feel so safe when you aren't with me. That's okay, for now. I want you to take the time to listen to this file again regularly. To continue to embrace your submission and start to feel the confidence build in how you feel, how good it feels to be submissive. You can say that for me now. It feels good to be submissive. Say it. That's right. It does feel good to be submissive. It feels good to follow my words and be yourself. It feels right. It's never wrong to be yourself. And even if you have to keep listening to this file and keep building your confidence in yourself, you'll find you grow more comfortable in your nature very quickly. You will feel safe in your submission. You will feel secure in yourself. Because nothing is so affirming, so wonderful, so utterly life-changing as embracing the person that you are. And that person is a wonderful person confident submissive you can always come back here back to me back to this trance and feel that again feel that safety in your submission you may have doubts you may feel worries but i am always here to help you build that confidence in who you are you always have the choice to join me in trance again and the choice to show your submissive side to someone who deserves to see it so even as you start to feel the trance fade, even as the waking world returns, even as you realize that when you hear my fingers snap once more that you'll wake up, you retain your confidence that you can be submissive, that you are safe, and that I am here should you ever date that feeling again. Let your eyes open now, see the world around you, and realize that you are safe there too. That you can be submissive when and how you like and wake up for me. Wake up and feel the world around you, feel the trance fade away and your thoughts flow as normal, all the world returning. Still feeling relaxed and rested, feeling wonderfully calm and peaceful but wide awake now and feeling much more confident in yourself. Because no matter what, you are a good and valued submissive. I'll see you soon for part two of this series. Until then, feel free to listen again. Thank you for listening. If you want to hear more of me, you can find lots of exclusive content on Patreon. Check the description for details. See you next time.